Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin's, euer lieber Odo. Und wir sind zurück bei Disco Elysium. Das Mal haben wir da hinten den Sonntagsfreund wieder getroffen und haben eine nicht wirklich interessante Diskussion oder ein nicht interessantes Gespräch mit ihm geführt. Ähm, ja. Erst, die erste Person, die wir hier angesprochen haben in dieser Gegend. Da oben sind noch zwei Menschen, mit denen wir sprechen können. Schauen wir mal. Okay. Ganz viele Gegend, die wir noch nicht gesehen haben. Was cover these long dusty windows? Nach einem, nach einer, wie sagt man, Industrieruine aus hier. Recharge a development. Recherche a Development. Irgendwas mit Avori Mikael. You'll learn all about it. Okay. Wir wissen also schon, er heißt Mikael, der Kleine. Uh, uh, Kiste. Kiste. Wollen Kisten. Oh, Geld. Another Powerbook. Charges nothing now. It's empty. Another Powerbox? Ich habe noch keine Powerbox gesehen. Ah. Ist das eine... Na, no, weiß ich nicht. The fence blocks the path. No way through. Ah, da kommen wir schon noch durch. Irgendwann. Wir können uns mal das Plakat anschauen. You see, a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out. Feld electrical. R.N.D. Mm -hmm. A slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now, only a shadow of peeled letters remains. Oh. It says, Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Tomorrow is just a whisper Looks away. Looks like tomorrow never came. Ah, uh, yeah. Above the mural, a collapsed roof broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice wieso ist hier eigentlich alles den bach runtergegangen feld electrical how ironic all these dark rooms <laughs> there's something in the wind Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Danke, Inland Empire. Wir fehlen die ganze Zeit. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Shivers impossible. Plus one reconstructed. Lucian. Reconstruct. Vision. Ah, weil wir das vorher, das Mural vorher schon geschafft haben. Deswegen haben wir hier einen Bonus. What is the... Maybe we could, you know, ask the man who's pointing at the building. Klingt gut. Idea. Machen wir das, bevor wir das Shivers machen. Das mit dem Scheitern könnte vielleicht... Especially with how there are no windows on the south side. This was to deal with. A blonde man stands next to his son, pointing to the weather worn ruins. He sees you approaching and smiles. You officers, come to investigate the historic subtext of West Martinez? I'm Han Heilostown. You must be Kim Kitsuragi, right? I was just telling my son about this building. Not a lot of people realize the historic significance here. Okay. Very rich in hypertext. Oh, and and historisch begabter Mensch. Nice to meet you. 
interessant. Und er hat Kim gekannt. Hold on. Hypertext. Wait. What was that about Windows before? You and Kim know each other? No, I can't say that we've met before. But I've heard of Kim, of course. Mikhail, say hi to the officers. He rests his hand on the boy's shoulder. The child stays hidden behind the hem of his father's coat. Touching to his worm-themed coloring book. Mikhail's a little tired today. We spent all night trying to run Orbis on his radio computer. Have you heard of it? It's a programming language used in Grad. Quite tricky, but he wanted to play this Grad-made adventure program. We've been getting really into worms lately. Okay. The man speaks in the artificial cadence of a professor. Or someone who's been on too many radio shows. <laughs> <laughs> but I assume you're not here for giant worms when there are so many real things to see. Just as I was telling Mikhail before, this is where the Coalition landed in 08. We could be standing on what is the most interesting landmark in Revachol West. Okay. This man is your half-brother. You feel it. But why? Weil er so viel Subtext versteht, so wie wir. Well, get a load of this guy. He really enjoys his trivia. The Orbis <laughs> programming language was named after its inventor, Victor Orbis, a cybernetician from Graz. Linux. They run Vox in the Occidental countries. Oh God, so viel, so viel uh, underlying, um, uh, wie sagt man, Subtext eben. Na, nicht Easter Eggs. Sind, eigentlich sind es versteckte Passagen von unserer Welt in dieser Welt. I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? What's so fascinating about an empty old building? You look like someone who has money. Do you have any money? Great, thank you for all the interesting information. Hat uns nicht allzu viel Information gegeben. Okay. Machen wir mal das Zweite. Aha, but it's not just any empty old building. Uh, he raises his hand to his eyes. Springtime sun warming his handsome face. All four of you turn to admit the mural before you. What not a lot of people know is, this used to be the R&D department of Felt Electrical. And Felt, which now sells in cartridges mostly was once a top dog in the turn of the century cybernetics boom. Mm -hmm. Also eine Computerfirma. Hold on. What's R&D? Wait, what's an R&D department? Apologies, it's an acronym for research and development. <laughs> They don't use it anymore. You're probably more familiar with RTD, research and technological development. Oh. Bei uns heißt es noch immer R&D. Mayor Kalpa, you are not familiar with that one either. This man is a bookhead. Haha, <lacht> Enzyklopädie mag ihn offensichtlich nicht oder schon. Entweder, entweder findet er ihn großartig, weil er so viel weiß, oder er hasst ihn, weil er so viel mehr weiß. Look at the building looming over you. It looks old and weathered. With seagulls picking apart its stone and metal carcass, bushy undergrowth has taken hold of the collapsed rooftop. Some kind of bird has set up a nest on a broken windowsill. I don't think I've ever heard of this field electrical. That's not surprising. Only a vestigial ink cartridge and ferro tape manufacturer remains. Mm -hmm. They started out as a midway electronics outfit in Königstein two centuries ago. After an aggressive move to Revachol, Feld became a global player in the emerging personal electronics market of the pre-revolutionary era. Still, Tricentennial was beating them in business machines. But Feld had an ace up their sleeve. Or should I say, they were developing an ace up their sleeve? I'm mixing my metaphors here. Okay, what was that ace? It was here in Martinez, possibly in this very building that they developed prototypes for a tape computer. A tape computer? Mm -hmm. An elegant folding mechanism of rollers and ferrotape ribbons, portable enough to be a take-it-home solution. Revolutionizing business machines, possibly even bring them to the average consumer. 
Ja. Also quasi das IBM dieser Welt. Allerdings haben sie es nicht geschafft, weil sie niedergebombt wurden in der Revolution. Which is a feat of engineering even today's giants, Rehm, ICN and Zam, haven't achieved yet. What Indeed. happened? What? The revolution! Okay. Die war offensichtlich nicht gut für die Revolution, wie wir mitbekommen haben. Unfortunately, the Moonshot Project never made it to the market. Feld's move to Revachol backfired. The revolutionary government liquefied their assets and expropriated those very advanced prototypes. Possibly from this very building. Or one of the adjacent ruins. Okay. All of this was built by Feld, even a boardwalk. While Pines built Martinez proper as a resort for their middle management, Feld built this side of town for R&D. You're saying that Feld Electrical built this boardwalk? Yes, they even built a pleasure wheel, but that got destroyed in the war. Okay. Also, ihr Teil der Stadt wurde vollkommen zerstört, während West Wild Pines Teil nur halb zerstört wurde. A pleasure wheel? Perhaps reminded of a childhood memory. It's clear he would prefer there were a big wheel lighting up the coast. Hmm. Yes, to lure in their star engineers. This part of Martinez was nothing but reeds before it felt arrived. They had to make the prospect of living here attractive. It was supposed to become a global center for innovation in cybernetics. Hmm. But history had other plans. Sure. What happened to the engineers, the company people? Oh, I'm afraid it didn't end well for the boys. But this story is a bit too dark for little Mikael here. Now, if you were to ask about tape computers... Wait, is he saying that we should just bypass the excesses of the revolution? He means they all died at the hands of the communists. <laughs> Sollen wir das machen? Nein, dann ist er krankfressen auf uns vielleicht. Ähm, das ist eine gute Sache. Wollen wir das Kind beschützen, quasi behütet aufwachsen lassen, ohne die Bösartigkeiten der Revolution zu zeigen? Oder, ich meine, wir wollen ja nicht, dass es die Kommunisten hast. Nicht alle Kommunisten sind Mörder. Tape Computers. What did the revolutionaries do? with those advanced tape computers. They used them for military communications, but also to write and send out press releases. The most notorious example being Le Decret de Mars. What was that? What's the Mars Decree? I mean the radio transmission sent out to news agencies and world governments by the newly created Commune of Revachol on the 7th of March in the year 02. A short lived legislative foundation for a short-lived utopia. Okay. Also quasi... It's a beautiful piece of text, actually. A singer-songwriter I know, Charette, called it a love poem to River Shaw on her political concept album, Bon Bessier d'Anselin. You should read it. Every local library in River Shaw stocks a copy of the decree. Okay. I tried to get Mikhail to memorize it. Try to... Someone was much too interested in Worms to be paying any attention. Und Kinder von heute wollen einfach nichts lernen. The kid takes a peek at the green and silver worm on the cover of the book, already forgetting about this part of the discussion. How did those tape computers work? Did they work like radio computers? Actually, no one knows. No one even knows what a computer made entirely of tape would look like. But word has it, they were very elegant, exquisite, alien-looking, turn-of-the-century hardware. Okay. Buckle up. Ten years ago, I did a little freelancing, I guess you could say. I was a special consultant for an exhibition at the Womti Domti Dom Center in Vredefort, Oranje. It raised the same questions, and we had lengthy discussions with Paul Ockerman, who was head curator at the time. This was before the twins Keith and Guy Jews joined the team, trying to... Uh, did he just say 
Wumpty Dumpty Dum sent her. <laughs> ja, Vater. He did it. He said, Wumpty Dumpty Dum sent her. Like it's the most natural thing in the world. <laughs> What the hell is a Wumpty Dumpty Dum Center? And who the hell are Keith and Guy Juiced? Ich weiß es nicht. Warum fragt ihr mich? Okay, the Wumpty Dumpty Dum Center, Paul Ackerman, Keith and Guy Juiced. What are you talking about? Okay, back to where did we tape computers, I think. Nein. The Wumpty Dumpty Dum Center for Contemporary Arts. The exhibition itself to on Lagerman's notion of memory, and so there were some parallels. That's why the head curator, Paul Ackerman, chose to... You're making this up. The lieutenant, him. Is he making this up? Come on, there is no place called the Wumpty Dumpty Dum Center of Arts. <laughs> In fact, I'm not. The Wumpty Dumpty Dum Center is a place you can visit if you're ever in Vredeport and are ever in the market for an exhibition space slash contemporary art research center. It's <laughs> 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 absolutely shy. <laughs> But perhaps I should return to the tape computers. As I was saying, the device itself was very elegant, fragile even. One could write directly on the tape using a special chemical solution. The machine would then analyze the handwriting perform operations and project output onto a white screen. It was a beautiful, delicate thing. Made of black film and folding tape structures. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I've seen cooler things than that. Your CM should get some of those. Okay, we're bleiben bei... Very, very cool. Though I understand the socio-economic causes of the revolution, It pains me to imagine the revolutionary setting fire to this precious device. But so they did. The felt playback experiment vanished into the fires of 07. Wait, the felt playback experiment? Or why did the revolutionaries destroy it? Who knows? Maybe it was an accident, or maybe they didn't want the technology to end up in the wrong hands. Either way, they're all gone now. All three versions of the prototype. Nothing but debris and ashes remain inside that building. Hmm, tragisch. I wanted to ask something. But of course. <laughs> What else? I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? I want to hear about the felt building again. No. You look like someone who... None. Okay, fine enough. No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikael here. So you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. We just arrived anyway. There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. A day off. He's telling the truth. Er ist überhaupt, er ist überhaupt freundlich. Er ist einer der wenigen nicht schrecklichen Personen, mit denen wir bis jetzt geredet haben. Um, vielleicht weil er keine Ahnung hat und weil er nichts mit alledem zu tun hat. Wahrscheinlich hat er mit alledem zu tun. Great, thank you for all the interesting well, information. Thank you for having me and little Michael here to pick your brain. A very interesting conversation indeed. Du hast die ganze Zeit geredet, nicht wir? Your brain. If anything, this was rather one-sided. Oh, danke, He rhetoric. <lacht> oh, ich bin so gut. Ich antworte für meinen Kopf. Ich habe einen neuen Fortings gekriegt. Wompty Dompty Dom Center. <lacht> Gegen Minus 1 of Suggestion. Outsider. <lacht> Wenn wir das machen. Zurzeit machen wir das White Morning noch. It's Wednesday evening and something anusly. Ich habe mir, hab mir für all diese dummen Wörter, die ich nicht verstehe, tatsächlich wieder uh, auf meinem neuen Handy... Leo runtergeladen. Anusly. Ach, irgendwas sagt mir das. Das habe ich auf jeden Fall schon mal gehört, aber ich habe keine Ahnung, was es heißt. Nein. Komm her. Komm her, Leo. Sag mir, was Anusly heißt. Anusly. Auf abscheuliche Weise. <lacht> Anusly exciting in underway is underway. <lacht> Etwas abscheulich aufregendes. 
people have gathered beneath the billowing roof of an oddly shaped trophy building trophy building sipping wine and exchanging opinions nine-year-old wonder twins Guy and Keith Jost are the stars of the show with their bomber jackets and white sneakers head curators of this art exhibition it's the wompy dompy dummiest event of the year and all the cool kids have RSPV'd whatever RSPV'd as mug <laughs> yeah, where are you if you are not there eine gute Frage. So, was habe ich da gekriegt? Ask about Ruby in the village. Haben wir. Titus said Ruby is bla 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 bla. Ask around the locals. Have. Ja, okay, gut. Gut, nochmal. Schauen wir uns das nochmal an, nachdem wir mit ihm geredet haben. The once bright Nero towers above you, saying, Hat uns nicht verbessert. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Wir haben eine dreiprozentige Chance, weil wir ein Plus, also wir haben sechs dazu. Wir müssen, sech, wir müssen 20 schaffen. Das heißt, wir müssten mindestens 14 würfeln. 14 geht nicht, das heißt, wir müssten mindestens 12 würfeln. Ah, das schaffen wir ja nie. Okay, wir, wir, wollen, wir wollen versuchen, Shiver raufzubringen noch, wenn geht. Vector of Chemistry, Physical Instrument, Drama, Esprit de Corps, Interfacing, Visual Calculus, Offlight. Ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass wir irgendwas haben, um Shivers zu erhöhen. Inland Empire, Logic, 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 Shivers, da. Shivers plus Ants. Das bringt überhaupt nichts. Jetzt müssen wir halt nur noch 13 würfeln. <lacht> ah, okay. Haben wir irgendwas, was Shivers runterbringt? Nein, haben wir nicht. Das hätte man nämlich ausziehen können dann. Na gut. Ähm. The once bright Nero towers so, above es hat genau saying, nichts gebracht. Wir haben jetzt Shivers 6. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Inland Empire hat aber gesagt, wir müssen zuerst scheitern, bevor wir irgendetwas erfahren. Dann lass uns scheitern. Suddenly, all is quiet. Knapp. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down or gone behind a corner. You only hear distant waves washing the coast. Mm -hmm. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. What was I even attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind. The city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? Well, yes. She could be anywhere. How do we, all, do we find do her? We? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. Okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. I think there's people west of here. We could ask them. Mm. Indeed. You hear what sounds like two men arguing where the lieutenant is pointing. And then there's the church. If I were a murder suspect, I would not hide in the most prominent building here. But who knows? Maybe she's reckless. Or spiritual. She could be looking for refuge. Hmm. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way. Sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula. Ask the locals. Enter the places where we can enter first. Like we did in the village. Hmm. And if that fails, if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bunkers, tomb drainage, this place. I'm sure it won't come to that. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Okay. Danke, Shiver. 
Wir haben einen neuen Killpoint gekriegt. Ich meine, wir könnten natürlich sofort wieder in Shivers in investieren. Ähm... Wir können es nur zweimal erhöhen. <lacht> das heißt, weiß ich nicht genau, ob wir das jetzt machen. Ich meine, wir haben ur viele Punkte. Und es gibt jetzt keine, keine Proben, die ich unbedingt machen möchte. Okay. Na dann. Schauen wir mal in diese Richtung weiter. Er hat gemeint Richtung Westen. Hm. Try to see inside. There's rust and corrosion on the bars. They're foaming with it. Und ein kleiner Layer von weißem Salz von der See. Lieutenant, kannst du mir aus, was in der Seite ist? Nein. Ich will nicht mehr versuchen. Du weißt... Ah, okay. Ich hatte einen Partner einmal. Sie nannten ihn Eis, weil er mir Dinge zeigen musste. Es ist so schlecht. Kannst du noch schießen? Nicht genug, eigentlich. Es ist schwierig, wie das funktioniert. Ich bin kein scharfer Schütter. But I pass my shooting courses seven out of ten. Klingt interessant. Na gut, dann gehen wir trotzdem noch mal weiter da. Oh, da ist irgendwas. Ah, da geht's rein. Da geht's runter. Quick travel unlocked. Ach stimmt, es gibt einen Quick Travel und den habe ich, hab ich mich gar nicht mehr erinnern können. <lacht> Someone must have worked hard and smashed it. So. Hm. A dead phone, a smashed receiver, like someone hung up too hard. Doesn't. A metal payphone under a yellow plastic dome. You could use it to call someone, unless you're out of change. No, we want niemand anrufen. Ich wüsste nicht einmal, wen ich anrufen soll. Oh Gott, ich habe mich verirrt. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wo ich bin. There's a slit in the concrete here. A sewer. Okay. Renek, yours. You didn't crash every MC in Ravishol. <laughs> Yay, nehmen wir Geld. That's a Nolan Wing Sink. An unsuccessful mob. Sind wir von hier nicht gekommen? Ja, von hier sind wir gekommen. Da sind wir wieder im Dorf. Interessanterweise habe ich nicht die Mutter von den zwei Kindern gefunden, den drei Kindern gefunden. Wo könnte die sein? Die müsste doch irgendwo hier sein. Hm. Da! Da hinten war ich überhaupt nie. Na, das mache ich dann das nächste Mal. What are these doing in the fish? Cavalry Boots Und eine Flop This boat is floating freely in the water unmoored Gut, meine lieben Freunde, ich hoffe es hat euch gefallen Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder Bis dann, ciao